In this video, I'll be showcasing four more teams with Lyra, Signals of Lyra. This is the first one with ho -Oh and his expanded grid. We're using Solar Beam for him. I still can't go get over the fact that Solar Flare 9 is freaking 5 energy, man. Like, holy crap, it's insane. But yeah, let's look at Solar Beam, Cross the Terrain, Under Sun with this team. This team is cracked, man. Holy crap. Like, Triple Johto, 2 Firebird, and then Celebi. Oh, dude, this team is crazy. If you time it well, you can actually, like, you can like, how do you say this? If you time it well, you can screw up the move queue and then it allows you to sync with silver before the sun ends. You do need to time it well, obviously. Get a sync with Monty. Let's cross it, cross it to rain solar beam. Let's look at this solar beam damage. The future is ours. Let's do this. Ooh, 10k damage for a 2 gauge move. Oh my god. Crazy. Oh my god, that damage, man. Wow. Crazy. Let's cross the terrain. Oh my god, that damage. Crazy. Okay, let's look at this nuke. Only have Sword of Flame 9, no Inertia, no Sword of Flame 5. But still, good stuff. Okay, I didn't create a single one. Nice job. I accidentally use overheat. Rip. Get up. That's still cute. Okay, nice. But yeah, solar beam. Crazy, man. Holy crap. Okay, next one. Let's showcase with Celine. With this build. The physical support one with Defense Crush 4, maybe we get lucky, depends. Celine, of course we have the Sync stuff. And Monty for the Sun again. Sun to rewrite the weather, the, sen the Sandstorm weather, right? Celine doesn't benefit anything from Sun, which is a bit sad, but still. Monty is a really strong support, so it would be nice for the Johto team skill as well. Let's restrain to activate the sink and stuff, right? Okay. Nice damage. Oh, okay, cross the terrain. Sadly didn't kill. Ooh, that's pretty good damage. Okay. Okay, we have Inertia, we have Oh, into we, we do the grassy terrain. Almost forgot. But yeah, this should kill. Big damage. Let's look at this. Whew, nice. Good damage.
Oh, you don't queue? Interesting. But yeah, like I said, grassy grass terrain makes pretty much every grass type thing very strong. Next up, we have our boy Brandon. Brandon with this crazy nuke build, inertia, ramming speed. We also have multi for Charging Sun 5 for Brandon. Then Lyra with this physical support build. And yeah, let's look at this. The good thing about this is that Brandon can max his own special attack, attack which is great. Okay, I think I kind of screw up the move queue. Oops. Well, we flinch anyways. Okay, we are fine. Whoa, dude, the damage. The heck? Now we flinch. Then we, dude, we can literally flinch chain this thing. Oh my god, the damage. Dude. Insane. Oh, it's only a plus 5 speed, sadly. But still, this should be big damage. Let's get this. Oh, I didn't crit, but yeah, 30k on the side. Nice. Big damage. Next up, we have Gardenia. Gardenia, Gardenia can actually hit really hard with this storm. Kind of similar to Brandon as well, with Charging Sun. Charging Sun 3. She has some nuke multipliers as well, as well so that's good stuff. Then we'll be using the special support. Hopefully debuff, special defense maybe. Let's see. Again, Sigma Sumoti for the sun. Sigma Sumoti is just so good man. Holy crap. Oh, okay, it's fine. Die? Nice. Okay, we need to do something dead again. Cause the start is gonna flinch. Cause it's a win. Let's look at the nuke. It should be big damage. Flinch. Flinch, man. The 100% chance of flinch is insane. Like, actually insane. Look at this. Oh, nice. You can legit flinch chain, man. Like, bro. Nice. To be fair, Sigma Sumo multiplayer played a big role here with the sun, right? And then for the tank as well. 
or like other the buff for the other stats, everything. But yeah, as you can see, every single striker becomes strong. <laughs>